Hi guys, today we are going to look at how to select certain amounts of data from a database. Now there is always a need to select some amounts of data from a database while working with a database to perform a particular task. So now in this case I have already created a new database called PrimeTiber and inside PrimeTiber I have created a table. I'll just do your show tables and I have already created a table named user login inside my database named prime tiver. So let's go inside user login and I'll do describe user login So user login contains a total of six fields named ID, first name, last name, username, visible and password. Now I have already added some amounts of data into my table user login and we'll just take a look at how to select some amounts of data from that table. So in the first step I will select everything from my database so I'll do select star from user login. So as you can see we have four rows of data ID 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we want to select some particular amounts of data based on some particular values of some variables. Suppose I want to select only the username. So I'll do select username from user login. So it shows only the column which contains username. Suppose I want to select my first row. So I will do select star from user login where id equals 1. So it gives me the first row only. Now suppose I don't know the value of id for a particular name and I want to select the row which only contains the first name as Nirmala. So I will do select star from user login where first name is Nirmala. So this will give me only the row which contains first name as Nirmala. So here it is id equals to 3, first name is Nirmala, last name is Das and username is Ndas and so on. Suppose I want to select all the rows which are visible. That means the value of parameter visible is 1 only. I will do select star from user login where visible equals to 1 so this will give me only those rows which contains visible as 1 suppose I want to keep it in the order of id descending I will do just that and write here order by id descending and press enter so here it is first comes 4 then 2 then 1 so in this way you can select different variable values depending upon the constraints you provide in the query so this is for this tutorial thanks for watching and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to update our database